greeting in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Jesus uh, my name is Paul Ray I'm from Assam I belong to Rongmai tribe today I want to share my little testimony how my life changed how my life changed with true God uh, from the very moment I step out from my hometown until now I'm in China I'm working here now uh, about to four years I'm here so during the two years back I was faced so many problem that's problem how it's come I'll tell because I work with in company in Shalun so when I work with uh, that time I met all of I met so many friends, Nepali friends, Manipur friends, so many from another Nepal friend and all. So many friends. Then I meet and all my friends are smoking, drinking. Yeah, all are drug addicted. And I cannot bother them, but my mind also it's coming like this. See. Uh, yeah, this is the lifestyle of boys. Uh, this is the enjoy. And if I'm not drinking, they will feel me like a girl. So I so I start with them, and I smoke, I drink, I come the experience that, and I work like that, and I face so many problems in my workplace. I didn't do bad things, even though I got failure, disappointment from that owner, from that customer, for every moment, from my relationship, from my family. I got so many problems I faced like this and sometimes I remind oh this is uh, because of my lifestyle it doesn't got like me so I try to change by some months sometime but I pray in that time and that month I fulfill I got peace I got peace joy and I'm happy but because of my circumstance my feel my how to say uh, that my circumstance my feeling gone again I'm backslide again yeah I can say backslide again and I drink with them I enjoy with them and I got same problem again I cannot carry that my problem from my friend and all double problem I got even the same full problem <sighs> yeah like this coming uh, one of my past one of pastor here in China he, he his name is pastor Kosa he's from Tangkul tribe he called me uh, he working here one of our Norwich churches here he's working here and doing pastor he called me brother Paul come to church on Sunday night uh, I went there and yeah uh, I went sometime but I'm not regularly even in my room sometimes I pray sometimes I don't pray Sometimes I do, but I'm not uh, fully like this. I'm not. I don't know how to pray. Also, mm. in this year, I'm changed. This year, in the month of I forgot March or that in the Good Friday. That before that Good Friday, two three bags. That pastor called me, brother Paul. Uh, we have Good Friday. In Good Friday is fasting program. You come and join yeah yeah I try to come faster yeah that days I went there and I pray we're praying for lots of this for pandemic for the Myanmar for the Israel for the worldwide also for for us also we pray and they pray for me a lot of they one of here one of our sisters his name her name is panisa he sees uh, he sees some vision she told me uh, one chance is binding you like a uh, like chance or something is binding you that cannot you come out you have angry temper so temper your life passes very dark brother paul i just he directly said you you have a relationship problem family problem you get what the problem real problem he told me I mean, she told me yeah that's really correct what I'm facing really but not that that 
that issue, not that uh, vision issue. I know myself that, and they pray for me, and yeah, from that day, I feel change, and I start praying daily until today. Until today, I do worship. I pray. I close to God from that moment, from that moment, and until now. See, this is my changes life. I cannot tell much. Uh, I want to tell so many things, but I'm not good in English. So I, I, I what I want to say, also I cannot uh, reach that much. I cannot tell. Uh, one thing. I want to tell that is really that happened on the last week. Uh, I have I don't have money again. Even for rice buying vegetable, I finished everything. That uh, that pandemic also starting again the close. I don't have any backup for me. I don't nothing nothing. And that night. We are praying, and that moment when we are praying time, I remind during the praying. Oh, God says in that uh, scripture in Matthew scriptures, God provide for crows for but they don't have fields, they don't have a home. Even though God our ho- God our Father provide them then how much believable uh, from um, how much believable then how much believable man God will pro- you should not worry if you give to God if you believe to God means God will provide how much valuable from them that the scripture like this that I remind during praying at the time I submit to God yeah, God, your scripture says like this. You will provide sure for me. I don't have, but the depression, my depression, tension was gone from that during praying, and I remind the scriptures, and that uh, that's the come strength, and I submit to God. After that, my after the prayer, I feel no stress, no depression, no tension. Oh, God will provide even the cross for even the. But for they don't have fuel, they don't make home. Even that God heavenly Father provide means I'm the valuable from the eyes of God. That God will still provide. I I think and I cool down, I calm down. Yeah, exactly. It's coming after the uh, after some moment. One of my customer is calling. That customer was lost a long time. Uh, we forgot long time. At that moment of the praying, after he calling back, Pao come for home service. I want to cut my hair. I want to do some service from you. See that? Yes, sure. I will come. And I thank God again before I sleep praying. I thank God. God, you've done so many things for me, and I receive what I'm praying and all. I'm very satisfied. I'm very happy when answer our prayers. When you pray and what your praying answer is really happy really that night you see i don't have uh, rice that rice uh, that two bowl i make it that two bowl then i eat little some part and i left in cooker some part of rice from morning if i eat finish for morning will finish i'll not i will stay in empty stomach so i eat some half of my part of rice and i left half in cooker for morning that's my and really like this even nothing zero balance for me so and i wake up and i eat that rice and i went to my one of my customer home i do service all days and he offer me he give me nine thousand that's a great miracles for me it's a, really it's a he give he gave me nine thousand and i bring back i come back my room and i bring rice full of rice one bag rice and I get my debt from that my rent my room fees and I come I'm happy and I'm more trust I come to God and I'm, I want to share this also because God done for me before also that before this not only that I, I got so many things from God miracles 
if I walk with God, I fulfill joy. I don't have nothing even though I satisfy. If I uh, walk with all my friends, what I for real, then I fail. I fail so much in my workplace. I shameful even shameful, uh, shameful problem I face. Really, this is uh, all my viewers. You try this. You taste God. Is it God real work or not work? Yeah, we know. If we walk with God, means will fulfill. Even though we we know, but we scared to go with God because we we want to enjoy this moment with my friend, and I want to earn some money these days. And later on, I walk with God. We think like this, and we scary. If I walk with God, we should not drink again. I should not do bad things. I should not enjoy with girl, enjoy with woman relation. Like this, we think that's a really uh, what to say. That's a really bad decision. Our uh, really really bad decision because I want to tell some secret way. Yeah, this is a, you can say secret way also. God says Jesus say, carry my laden. My laden is not heavy. Come and drink my water. I'll give uh, satisfy. Will not hungry, will not thirsty again. My thing that is secret, really. You know, because we scare if we walk with God, we should not do bad things, we will not enjoy it. Because that what that Jesus says is the secret way. Because if you walk with God, if you pray with God, if you go through with God, your bird, He says, carry every day my uh, cross and walk with me. That's worth it. When we think that one, uh, we carry the cross and we walk uh, with God means we should not. That's the big burden, like we think. We think what we our mind is when we carry that laden. When we uh, walk with God, I go. I should go only in good way. I should not do any bad thing. We are scared. We will fall again like this. We think no. That is no. If you walk with God, He will carry. He will carry with you. What that um, more. That more heavy, he carried all our burdens. He carried on the cross, and only things we're going to do is we believe him and we walk with him. Means he will carry with you. He will help. His help is more for us. That's the secret way I want to tell. Really, this is the secret way. I'm experienced, and I want to tell. Even a single small thing, lying, small thing, bad done, that's happened back to us. Really, my experience also. I got my experience also. Don't even the little thing, that little thing, lying, little thing, that's happened back again. That's a really then. Uh, that's happened. That's my experience. And if you walk with God, if you that's He carry with you. We think that we are heavy. We will not face that much. We think that's a wrong way. He will He will help more than you think. More than that. The secret way I want to tell. Oh, don't don't doubt. Darkness and that's afraid is very bad way. You believe what God, the Scripture, what the Bible tells, and just you believe, and what you believe and you give to, you pray to God. That's the really work. This is my testimony. I don't know. I want to say so many things in my mind that what really done for me, God miracle, so many things, but I cannot uh, reach that much my English, my. This is I'm not good much in this. That's why. Thank you for this moment. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you.